start. So you start waiting tables, you know, and doing my, and I had a friend who used to wait tables, and he says, no, I got a better job. I go, yeah, what do you do? He goes, I'm a private investigator. I said, how the hell do you get that job? You don't have any criminology experience, and it's not very bright. He goes, yes, but I'm an actor. And I go, what does that do for you? He goes, well, these people like hiring actors because they have no scruples. They're willing to misrepresent themselves, and they're not upwardly mobile. They only want to work part time. He said, fantastic. So for five years, I worked as a private investigator in between acting jobs. I would go do a job and come back and work as a private eye because I had a desk. I could see the Empire State Building, and I had a fake name. Uh, as, a, as a detective, I was Bill Monk. <laughs> uh, originally, I, I, uh, it was uh, Harry Paris, Tom Rome, Bill London, you know, and they, they went, no, no, no. So I took my father's first name and my mother's maiden name, and I used that as my detective name. And, uh, it helped me later on in the lying straight people's faces. <laughs>